Okay, so I'm in I'm in the midst of getting ready to go to a mo party. Uh yeah, it's um it's been great. But there's one thing I did do and I I've been wanting to do it and the state of Florida made it easier. And that is get a year of manufacturer plate for my car. So I have a 72 plate for my 72 car and the state of Florida just made it so much easier. So if you live in the state of Florida, then you can now go to your tax collector's office or your, uh, you know, your, where you pay your driver's license. That's the way we do it here in Florida. It's just, it's all one place. And be able to bring your plate, your registration, your insurance, and give it to these nice people and they can authenticate the uh, historic plate as they call it. I'm going to put above or somewhere in here, I'm going to show you the form that they gave me and I'm also going to show you the colors that it's supposed to be and it basically lines it out how to do this because it's kind of cool to have the plate from the year of your car on it because it makes it like it goes new. And other states do do what Florida does, so check your local DMV, uh, Texas is very similar. I, I believe you can actually go to the DMV in Texas. Comment like on your state what they do for these classic plates, because uh, like Illinois, you can't use the plate during the you can't use the car during the winter if it has one of those plates on it. Pennsylvania is very has a weird restrictions on it. New York doesn't seem to have restrictions, but it's very expensive. Uh, of course, it's New York City. In New York State. The the thing with the state of Florida is that I have a 72 and they basically did this to 75 with the little number up in the corner. And the state only recognizes 74 and down to do this service. So you have to check your state because I know the state of California only does up to 1969. Strange. I mean, considering, you know, the muscle car era went past that, but I guess they stopped doing yearly issues at that point so it's it's rather simple uh it's kind of straightforward and really neat you know i i just wanted to get this kind of done on my car uh, and I, for years the state of florida made you mail it uh, it's tallahassee i mean you had to send it you know uh, priority mail with re re return receipt and then send them the the the, the, the thing to send it back you wanted you and you wanted to be able to sign for it and it was sixty dollars and it took it took a random amount of time and you were worried you may not get your plate back. So that's pretty important. The other thing in the state of Florida is that when you get a plate like this, if you're looking around and there are guys that sell old plates, make sure it's just numbers. If it has letters on it, it could be for a truck, it could be for a trailer, heavy equipment. Just don't buy any random. Make sure it has numbers. And this is the counties. And this is Marion County. And Marion County was number 14 in the state of Florida in 1935. That's when they did the, the census to do the numbering for the plates. Absolutely bizarre. So Duval was number one in 35. Then Dade, because Dade was massive then Hillsboro, then Pinellas. It's very, very weird. So you can look for one of the 67 counties that you live in. I couldn't find mine. Oh, well. But I got Marion. That's pretty cool. It's Ocala. And, you know, so it's, it, it, it's a really neat service. It took a couple hours. I left the plate with them with the information. And you just get a call. You pay 20 I think it's like 25 something uh, for, for the service. And I paid for my old car registration. It was like $21. So it was like 46 bucks to do it. Rather, it's, it's a really cool thing. Just wanted to kind of give an update on that. And uh, thanks for watching. And of course, always like and subscribe and share. And if you have an old car like, you know, this one that is looking like it's being very heavily worked on, take it out. You'll make someone's day, maybe even your own. I'll catch you down the road.